to be cooking in my new kitchen. It's so much fun. And today, I'm gonna do just a really easy lasagna. Lasagna is one of my favorite Italian dishes, but it seems like it's labor intensive, but not this version. You know what I do at Alley in the Valley? I keep it easy and simple so you can follow. Let's get started. So first things first, let's talk about our wonderful ingredients. I am going to make an easy lasagna, like I said. So in my easy lasagna, it's ground beef. Um, I'm using grass-fed ground beef, any kind you like. I'm using Italian sausage. I'm using a spicy sausage because I like it spicy, but you don't have to do it spicy. Mozzarella, Parmesan, garlic, parsley, lasagna noodles, my favorite tomato sauce, some eggs, and ricotta cheese. We're gonna put this all together in loveliness and we're gonna make a lasagna. The first thing to get started is, I'm gonna take the ground beef, and the sausage and I'm gonna cook it first on the pan together. So let's get started and do that on the skillet and then we'll start building from there. So we're gonna turn on the fire to like medium high. Get the ground beef in here. You can use any kind of brown beef you want. I just am using grass fed. I don't always use grass fed, but okay. I try to use organic and grass fed as much as possible. So these are two pounds of uh, ground beef and then I'm going to put in the Italian hot sausage. I don't want to use, if, if you don't like it hot, don't use hot sausage, use regular sausage. Bam, move over. Yummy. Turn it down to medium so it doesn't burn, depending on your stove. So this is gonna take about 10 minutes to cook. And then I will put the garlic in and I will start building from here. And um, then we'll start layering. Once the sauce is done, we'll layer the lasagna in this. So give me a few minutes, let me cut up my garlic so when it's ready. Um, have you noticed that I put garlic in every meal I cook? Yes, I am a garlic person. But I mean, you know, most Italian meals anyway have onion and garlic. Onion and garlic are so good for us. And this is a great dish that you can prepare early also. You can put this in the refrigerator before you bake it. So you can do it the night before. And then when people come over, you just throw it in the oven. And what I'm doing is I'm gonna mix the sausage and the meat really well together. So you always get a little kick anytime, the, you know, so it's not like divided. You wanna get a little kick of the sausage with the meat, with the regular hamburger. All right, the meat's done. I am gonna add some of my essence. You know my essence on my side, which has paprika and seasonings and all these different seasonings in here. Has paprika, 
garlic powder, onion powder, salt, pepper, cayenne, just a little bit to give it a little kick because this is Alley in the Valley. Gotta have a little kick, right? And then I'm going to add, I cut up about four to five cloves of garlic. Boom. Love me some garlic, you know that. Mix it up right quick. And then we're gonna add spaghetti sauce. Help! Out of it, working out, see. Yummy, ah, oh, the smell, smells good. Oh, I know, I was about to, <laughs> <laughs> smell TV. <laughs> All right. I think I'm gonna put two in here just cause I'm making a big batch so I can feed my crew. They get to eat everything. They're the taste testers. They'll be like, this is good, this wag is good, but it's always yummy. Number two, 48 ounces. This might be 50, I think these are 25 each. Yeah, they are. So it's a little bit more. All right. So this is the base of our lasagna sauce. I can eat this and put spaghetti in it right now and just eat it. All right, I'm gonna let this simmer for about five to seven minutes, and now I'm gonna make the ricotta sauce with all the cheeses that we layer on top. I'm gonna um, now mix 15 ounces of ricotta. If you don't have ricotta, you can always use cottage cheese, so. You know, here at Alley in the Valley, we substitute. I'm going to take two cups of mozzarella. Hmm, that's a lot of cheese. Parmesan, okay, and two eggs. I don't know if this bowl is big enough, but we'll see. And we'll do some Italian seasoning. You could do parsley or Italian. I didn't have parsley, I ran out. Guess what I did? Change it up. Get open. And this is our mixture that goes on top of, you know how you make layers. You do the layers in the pan. This is the second layer of the cream, yolky, yummy cheese sauce. I mean, yum. I could eat this. No, I'm joking. <laughs> I love cheese. Look at this. This is so good, so decadent. It's like yum. These Italians, they know what they're doing. Okay, let me wash my hands and put a little bit more Italian seasoning in here. Okay, so let me mix all this up and then we're gonna start layering. Simple as that. I did say this is easy lasagna. Yep, there he goes. That mixture is nice now. Okay, so I'm ready to start building my easy lasagna. So we have the meat sauce. We have the cheese, yummy cheese sauce that I'm ready to eat just the way it is on a piece of toast. And I am going to spray our pan with um, whatever kind of oil you have to spray so it doesn't stick. And we're just gonna start layering. So first things first, we do the meat sauce. And I really need to do this in a faster way without making a mess, but it is what it is. Let's see how, if I can stay clean. <laughs> That's the fun part about cooking. So we're gonna layer meat. I actually need a bigger spoon. This is not working for me. Let me get a different, bigger spoon. So we go faster. There we go. Okay. This smells so good, I'm hungry. I want some now. Right now. 
Okay, that's good. Mm-hmm. 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 I'm not gonna say it. Okay, now let's use the lasagna that you don't have to cook. I love this new lasagna that you don't have to cook. It cooks automatically. Makes life a lot easier. Boom. Now we'll do the yummy cheese on top. And we'll just keep doing this till we get it all layered out. Can never have enough cheese as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> Actually, I think cheese is my favorite food in the whole world. Cheese and pizza. I don't know, I've always just loved pizza. I remember in college, that's the only thing I ate was pizza, and I used to bounce checks to the pizza place, and they always like let me get away with it, and then I would pay them back later. So, I don't know, I just have a love for pizza and cheese. All right, next, let's put some meat on, meat sauce on there. Mmm. Yes. You never can have another enough meat sauce. I love meat sauce. I love this whole meal. This is just heaven for me. Nice and fattening and <laughs> tasty and everything yummy. All the yummy stuff I like. Okay. Now, so we're just gonna keep repeating this. Cheese sauce, meat sauce till we run out. And then we'll put noodles on top and put it in the oven at 350 for about 50 minutes. And then your meal's ready. Yep, your easy lasagna. Look at this. Beautiful, right? Okay. We need every bit of this cheese sauce. Every bit. To make our life just feel satisfied. My easy lasagna is done. I'm super excited, but pro tip, I forgot to spray the foil on the top so it wouldn't stick, so it stuck a little bit. Oh, I hate when I do that. But it still looks beautiful. Let me move this over here. And look at this lasagna. This can feed a party. So I need some parsley because my parsley isn't over here, but I'll figure that out in a minute. I would love to top it with some parsley, but let's cut into this baby and see how my easy, quick, well not quick, it was 50 minutes in the oven. But let's get a piece. Let's try this, carve it out. Oh, well, I could have used my knife that I did. That's a good sign that it's easily cutting though. Well, it's not pretty coming out, but it's okay. All you care about is it tastes good. Okay, let's try that. This here, this here, let me get a fork. I'll be right back. My hands are really dirty, but remember I said I'm gonna make a mess making this? Well, I'm a mess, period. <laughs> okay, let's try it. Okay. Mmm, this is delicious, you know, my essence really kicked it up a notch when I put the essence in the meat, but all the flavors are there. The cheese is perfect. It's perfect. You know what? I outdid myself on this. I don't make a lasagna a lot. This one's a really good one. I'm really happy. You know where to get the recipe. I usually would put parsley on top of it, so in the picture you'll see that. But I'm so hungry, I'm just eating it like right now. I could have just ate it right out of the pot, to be honest with you. 
But you know where to get the recipe at AllieInTheValley.com. If you like this video, hit the like button. And I will see you on the next Crazy Allie in the Valley.